Hi, welcome to Ham Radio K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I found out something very interesting. I had just installed my DX Patrol on my Windows 10 computer, new install of Windows 10. And I was going to do a video on uh, installing the RTL SDR because I got an AM broadcast filter for it and I'm able to use it on 20 meters. So all I did was disconnect the DX Patrol and I plugged the RTL SDR in the same USB port and doggone if it didn't work. I'll show you how to configure it. That's coming up next. Okay, well that was surprising for me. The uh, DX Patrol was installed on my computer and all I had to do was disconnect it and install the RTL SDR. Now with the RTL SDR I had to put in an AM broadcast filter. Got it pretty cheap off of eBay. I think it was about $16. But it works for me. So let me show you what happened. I've got the device manager pulled up here and I don't have anything plugged in right now. When I plug in the RTL SDR you'll see it pop up here. So let me do that real quick. Okay, there it is. It's showing up as the RTL 2838. Now all I have to do is open up HDSDR and make a couple of changes from the DX Patrol over to the RTL SDR. The settings are a little bit different. The EXTIO, click on it, and with the DX Patrol has this direct sampling disabled because it has an up converter. What we want to do is choose Q input. We don't have to change anything else. Close it. The next change we need to make is over under options in the RF front end configuration. For the DX Patrol, we have this selected because it has the up converter. This one doesn't have it. We're just going to choose this SDR hardware connected to antenna. And that's the default. Click apply and close it. Now we ought to be able to just start it and start listening. Uh, you know, we've got well. a station over here. Pepper at night, and my friends asked me about that. Go ahead, Robert. And you're listening to the RTL SDR. The AM broadcast filter is in line, and it's pretty clean. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe some CW down here. I'm not sure what that is. Not low enough. Somebody over here. Where's that he's doing on 80 meters? That's uh, pro probably a smart thing to do. So those uh, are the only changes that need to be made. If you're installing HDSDR and you have your RTL SDR installed, the driver installed, and then you yeah. uh, install HDSDR to get it configured, uh, really just a couple of those changes. Uh, that's the difference between the DX uh, Patrol and the RTL SDR. The uh, Hercules software. And, uh, and it sounds pretty good. Me, uh, the, uh, That's the RTL SDR. Four uh, that uh, comes with the. Uh, and the, that uh, is the ICOM 7300 receiver. The ICOM 7300 receiver is a better receiver, uh, of course. In uh, me getting uh, the red potato up, uh, and with the uh, Hercules. But this is not bad to listen to. Uh, you know, uh, I believe So the RTL SDR is twenty-five dollars, and then I needed the AM broadcast, uh, which you probably uh, may or may not need. Uh, that filter, and you can make your own too. <laughs> Uh, he bypassed and that was another $16, I think, right so uh, pretty cheap fan adapter. With, uh, yeah, you, you and of course, the, I still uh, have the mini circuit RFDR, splitter in there, and that was another $25 thing and in three uh, cables. It, uh, boots right up and, uh, You'll find uh, that information and, uh, on my website, k0pir.us. Look for the article on the ICOM 7300, yeah. the yeah. DX Patrol, HDSDR, the need, the need for, uh, and Omni-Rig. Uh,
come uh, with something Paul came up with. And if you're going to run the DJ controller as an audio controller for okay, music, you do need good. it. Uh, well, that was surprising to me. Actually, it turns out uh, you never needed Please that. Please remember to like, subscribe, and uh, share. Thanks for watching. Password. If you have any comments, uh, questions, please make them below. Line, I, I have a line. great day. Seventy-three and good DX.